John, are you there? Dustin, I'm here. Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Excellent. It's an honor to be speaking with you. Well, thanks. Where Where is Mankato? Uh, it's about an hour south of uh, Minneapolis. Oh, right on. Well, first, I want to ask you about the new book you got coming out, uh, Under the Big Black Sun. Uh, it's not just about X, but uh, kind of about the whole the whole scene around that time. It is. Uh, the L.A. scene was a really vital, very eclectic punk rock scene, and uh, this has got several different people telling their stories, and uh, everybody covering a topic of which they are expert in. Yeah, it seems like uh, going over the list here, you got a lot of uh, big names that kind of help contribute to the book. <laughs> well, big is relative, my friend. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, so most people would say, who? Except for, of course, Jane Weedlin and uh, Henry from the Go-Go's and Henry Rollins from Black Flag. But it was all people that, that were there and, and who can put two or three words together and make a, make a full chapter. Um, and, you know, it's rewarding to see that they, they all found their own voice and told their story in a kind of unique way. Well, when it comes to uh, X, it seems like you guys really one of the last bands of that era who are still together and, and still touring. Uh, does that seem weird to you at all that you're still you know, you know doing the stuff after all these years? It's a weird world. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, Dustin. Uh, it's pretty gratifying, you know. I mean, the alternative sucks because then you would be dead. Right. But, uh, yeah, we are. We're we're like uh, going to celebrate our 40th anniversary next year which is just mind-blowing since we all started the band when we were in our 20s. And, um, yeah, it's kind of insano. But uh, the only one of the only bands that still has the original members still out there touring, we're going to do a tour in, in August, and, uh, and then we always do holiday tours. We'll play as many as 50 to uh, 75 shows a year. Yeah, I know I saw you guys... Um a few times over the years, and um, most recently, it was about a year or so ago, and, and you have uh, definitely not lost a step. It doesn't seem like you guys have been a band for 40 years. Weird, like I say. <laughs> I, I, have, I have lost a tiny bit of a step, but it's a very tiny step. Thanks for saying so, Dustin. Well, I want to ask you um, about Billy Zoom, health-wise. Is he doing okay? Because he wasn't with you guys the last time you were out. Uh, yeah, he, he had uh, bladder cancer, and he got treatment. Um, actually the guy that stepped in for him, uh, Jesse Dayton, he, uh, I play with him regularly and that's why he got the gig. Uh, we're doing a tour starting in June in Chicago is our first show. And then we have 16 shows in a row, which is kind of freaking me out, but I'm, <laughs> I'm pulling up my socks and I'm saying I can do this. So, uh, but Billy had treatment. He's, he played all the holiday shows with us last November, December. So he's good. Yeah, that's awesome that uh, he's he's doing all right. And you guys mentioned you're going back out in August. Uh, do you think maybe there's going to be uh, new music or something uh, along those lines coming out? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so, but you never know. Well, I know you are usually working on uh, solo stuff. I know you have, uh, I don't even know how many solo albums out over the years. Uh, is there something like that maybe in the works? Yeah, I just put out a, a record called The Westerner. And it is on uh, my own label, Cool Rock Records, uh, with help from 30 Tigers, who's a company out of Nashville. And, and uh, it's doing really well. We were on NPR and, and uh, getting a lot of airplay. Maybe you guys should play it. Mm, who knows? We'll <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think, I think this is record number 10. I don't, I've lost count. But um, yeah, Xene wrote a couple songs on it. So we still work together. Yeah, it seems like uh, besides X, you, you know, you mentioned all the solo stuff. I know you would do a lot of writing, obviously the new book, Under the Big Black Sun, and a lot of acting over the years as well. I, I want to ask you about that, I guess, and uh, how that came about, you know, kind of transitioning from music into the acting world. Was that something you were hoping to accomplish early on? <laughs> oh, God, no. Uh, I, I'll blame um, Allison Anders, who is a great director. She's a, a writer as well, and she did... Uh, a, a number of indie movies. Now she does. She directs a lot of TV shows. I think uh, Orange is the New Black is one of the shows she directs, and and she did a movie called Border Radio that uh, just a couple of years ago got got re released on the Criterion, you know, classic whatever um, sure label. And um, 
yeah, she she kind of lured me in, and it was fun and and rewarding. And so, and then I found out if you work for somebody that's not indie, you can get paid. And it's like, well, all right, that sounds good. <laughs> I got to say, um, some of the people I mentioned that I was going to be talking to you with that, that didn't know your music, they knew that you were the guy from Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was one more person that Patrick Swayze kicked his ass. I got my ass kicked by Patrick Swayze. You did get to work with uh, Terry Funk, though, and that n- cool hair that he had back then. That must have been a treat. Yes, he actually came up with the phrase, chicken dick. You know, there in in the in the script it said, "Come on, chicken shit" or something like that. Terry Funk was hilarious. <laughs> Terry Funk was my spirit animal on that on that shoot. <laughs> yeah, I think anything with Terry Funk in it somehow usually it makes it a hundred percent better for sure. I want to ask you, John, are you planning maybe like a book tour or something like that for Under the Big Black Sun? Will you be touring bookstores or anything like that? Oh, as we fit it in while I'm doing the rock and roll tour. Uh, I'm in New York right now to, to do this kind of stuff, and and uh, we're doing a couple of live events and something in San Francisco and down in L.A. We did a couple things already. So, yeah, off and on, but not, you know, uh, like dedicated book tour. Sure. Well, uh, it sounds like uh, at least the listeners will have a lot of opportunities, uh, either, you know, if you do the book tour or maybe uh, seeing you on the road, they'll have a chance to, to see you sometime this year. Oh, yeah. I'll be out there. Beautiful. Again, John, it's been an honor speaking with you. Thanks for being on with us. Sure, Dustin. We'll see you out and about. All right. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, man. All right, buddy. Bye-bye.